Okay, before I start the tutorial, something's got to be done about my wallpaper, alright? Because, look, a normal wallpaper is not, that's not good enough for a YouTube tutorial, alright? Every good YouTube tutorial needs a shitty anime wallpaper. Okay, perfect. Now that that's fixed, I'm going to be talking about this problem about importing OBJs into Cinema 4D. And they try to act like it's a super easy thing to do, like, oh, all you do is just drag and drop it. All you gotta do is just drag it in. I'm sure a lot of the people watching this video are from this video, because in the comments section, I was ranting a little bit, going off. As you can see, there's me. So, this tutorial is, I mean, it's by Cineversity, which I'm pretty sure is a Cinema 4D, like, thing that they created the company Maxon and the tutorial is terrible it does not explain the main problem that everyone has because the problem is you want to import OBJs but you want to bring their texture files and their material files with them which is what an MTL is supposed to be for but it, do it doesn't work that easily there's something else you have to do and this tutorial does not explain that so there's like very few tutorials and every single tutorial misses this huge thing which is the problem that everyone has with it so basically uh, we're gonna go in here and then I'm just gonna pull up and I'll just show you the issue and exactly how to fix it And this is something that I could if there is another tutorial covering this I can't find it. Hopefully this helps a lot of people It definitely helped me. It took me a lot of messing around. It's really not that complicated Basically, let's say all right, so I want this building this is for some cover art I'm making so I'm gonna drag in this building OBJ and this comes up and this is in all the tutorials Oh, you just drag it in and then you get this little dialogue and it's easy. That's all you do. You just click. Okay So here's the important thing Right. First of all, they're wrong. Second of all, so there's an import.mtl file, and the MTL file is basically stands for material. It's just where the materials come from in an OBJ file. It's how they store their materials. As long as you have material set to import MTL material, you should be good. And you click OK, like the other tutorials say. And then for sh for them, because they don't like to explain things, they're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, it's all perfect," and this would have, this would be perfect on theirs. They're like, "Oh, it's got all its textures." Well, on mine, it looks like a fucking clear blob. So that's not not really what I'm going for. So then, what I realize you can do is go in here, go to one of the materials. For some reason, mine are clear. Usually, when people have this issue, they're white. So it doesn't matter if they're white or clear or whatever. Just go in, double click on it, and then find this part right here textures so 90% of the time this is gonna be the issue if someone else has a different problem leave it in the comments I'll try to help but this is the issue that most people have and if you want to find the name of that file and then if wherever you got this uh, OBJ file from is like a good website then it should come with like a zip file with all the textures and then all you gotta do is go in and so we can see this is K underscore buildings. So it still has the title. It's just, you know, if you look at this path, like this is from someone else's computer. I don't even have a D drive. So like, that's why it's because whoever made it, it's like looking for the file in their file path, but you don't have that path. So you can just copy that if you want, copy the name, click three dots. And then I already have it to where I know the textures are. So looks like this is the one right here and then I'm gonna just click OK it's gonna give you this message doesn't matter it just means it's gonna make a copy of the texture and put it in the folder path not important anyways there you go you look at that boom I got a scratched metal texture on this uh, fire escape on the side of the building and that's literally all it takes and then you can just go through and do that for every material so it doesn't take that long once you get the hang of it I mean you just look for this Okay, K buildings, this is number 12. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna go, boom, 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 where's 12, there's 12. Click okay, click yes. And then boom, we've got a garage door down there. So, you know, not too bad, not too hard. Um, but yeah, for some reason, no one else is talking about this. So I just wanted to make this to try to help as many people as possible with this issue. You know, if it helped, leave a like, subscribe. Every, okay, I'm just going to continue because Cinema 4D is a very problematic software. I'm just going to continue every time I have an issue and I figure out how to solve it. I'll just make a video and explain how to solve it. So yeah. Thanks for watching.